Hello everyone. Welcome to JG Chemistry. In today's video, we are going to learn sigma tropic rearrangement in pericyclic reaction in which we will focus on cope, oxycope and azacope rearrangement. As you can see, this is a part 7 video we have already learned in the previous videos uh, electrocyclic reactions and cycloadditions reaction. So if you have not seen those video and would like to learn about cycloaddition and electrocyclic, you can find the link in the description box of this video. So let's start. First we will see what is sigma tropic rearrangement. So basically the sigma tropic rearrangement can occur either photochemically or thermally where the groups or atoms are going to rearrange with the sigma bond and pi bond rearrangement. So we will see how this is going to happen in that a very famous example called cope rearrangement we will see. So what is cope rearrangement? Cope rearrangement is the 3, 3 sigma tropic rearrangement when you have one 5 diene system. So let's see one example to understand it. So if this system is given to you, you can see if you start numbering doing from the terminal pi bond, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 1,5-diene system is there. So, whenever you have 1,5-diene system and uh, also you can notice this is two separately allylic system. So, if you divide from the center, the molecule is having two allylic systems. So, when the, uh, you, when the molecule is having two allylic system along a sigma bond or it is 1,5-diene one, one system and also you can see the numbering that I have done along the sigma bond 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. So this is 1, 2, 3, the two allylic systems are there. So the sigma bond is going to rearrange from 1, 1 position to the 3, 3 position. Therefore, we call it 3, 3 sigma tropic rearrangement and it makes the six member transition state. You can just uh, see the rearrangement, how it is taking place with the arrow mark. So basically, the pi bond is going to rearrange with the formation of a new sigma bond. So you can see here, in the product you are having now sigma bond at 3, 3 position followed by the pi bond rearrangement. So this is called a cope rearrangement. When you have carbon carbon in the skeleton, then it is called 3, 3 sigma tropic cope rearrangement. We will see a few more examples for it. In this also you can notice you have 1,5 dye system and you can also imagine that the molecule is having two allylic system. Basically, we will be seeing a new bond formation between 3,3 three, three carbon. So, this is called 3,3 three, three cope rearrangement and you will have this as a product. The reaction can occur thermally or photochemically. Similarly, this system is again you can notice uh, the systems are acyclic system and you are going to form a new sigma bond followed by the pi bond rearrangement. So this is again since the carbon-carbon bond which is going to form is having between carbon and carbon. Therefore, it is called cope rearrangement and the product will be this. Similarly, you can notice here you have two allylic system called 1, 2, 3 along with the cyclopropane ring. So, since it is a strain molecule, you can see it will try to release this strain by forming the 3-3 cope rearrangement reaction. A new sigma bond is going to form between 3-3, one bond sigma bond is going to break followed by the rearrangement of the pi bond. So, you got the cyclic product which is more stable, 7 member ring. If this molecule is given to you under thermal condition, here again you can notice if you number from the terminal car, uh, from the center here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is again kind of a 1, 5 diene system and if, you can also imagine this is 2 allylic system here. Similarly, on the other side you can imagine. So, we can form the 3, 3 shift here and will form the more stable 6 member substituted six membered ring compound. In this also you can notice we have 1, 2, 3, 2 allylic system at 1, 1 carbon you have a sigma bond which is going to shift to the 3, 3 carbon followed by the rearrangement of the double bond. So this is called 3, 3 cope rearrangement and this is the product here. 
Now in this you can see we have cyclobutane derivative. Again you can uh, imagine the molecule that it is having 1, 2, 3, 2 allylic system and the reaction will occur in the boat form and the migration of the bond will occur a sigma bond 1,1 one, one is going to shift to the 3,3 three, three, followed by the rearrangement and it is going to form more stable 8 membered ring. Next, this is example when in your 1,5 diene system a uh, hydroxy group is present at the third position. So if you give number 1, 2, 3, OH group is present at the third position then the cope rearrangement will called oxy cope rearrangement. Again same you will be forming a sigma bond at 3, 3 followed by the rearrangement. Now this is the OH which is uh, the tautomerization is possible here and you will get the keto form of it which is more stable. And we designed here hapt 6 in 2 o So this is the example of oxycope rearrangement when a hydroxy group is present in the third position of the 1,5 diene system. Similarly, if in the 1,5 diene system a nitrogen is present in the form of iminium salt under thermal condition, a sigma tropic rearrangement will occur and this will call as a cope rearrangement. And you can see now we have a new sigma bond here followed by the pi bond rearrangement. Now this OH group you can see is in the enolic form. So the same the rearrangement will occur will be form a bond here and under acidic condition you will get this product as a major which is more stable and called as a cope rearrangement reaction. So in this way you can find out cope, oxycope and as a cope rearrangement easily. The mechanism is same in all the reactions. I hope you understood it. We will see in the next video about Claisen rearrangement. Till then happy learning.